Hello Sagittarius, this is your monthly reading for March 2019. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please hit the like button, share the video, subscribe. Thank you. Alright guys, let's see what's going on for Sagittarius, March 2019. Please show me what's going on for Sagittarius. We're going to do a Celtic cross as usual. Sagittarius, please show me what Sagittarius needs to know for March 2019. Sagittarius, what's going on with Sagittarius? All right, let's see what's going on around you guys. <clears throat> let's see what's challenging you. And the underlying issue is the recent past. Let's see. Okay. Something keeps wanting to come out there. Do this one. Okay. All right. That came face. Move that up some. Face up. So we'll take it like it is. Best possible outcome in this situation. What's coming in for you guys? How you see yourself is here. And the outside influence, that one wanted to flip, so I'm going to take it. And your hopes. I feel like there's a lot that's going on with you guys in the month of March here. Let's see. There's your hopes. And your fears, because the cars are just kind of wanting to jump out on their own. Move that over some water. And then we'll get an overall for you. There. Alright, and I do have my Vice Versa Tarot over here, which you guys probably can't see. Put it right there. Um, just in case I want to clarify some cars, okay? So what's going on around you currently? is a three of swords um I'm, I'm feeling i felt this but those cards trying to just come out everywhere um there's a lot going on with you guys that i feel like some disappointment um I, I feel like certain things you kind of expected that didn't happen maybe um some heartache for sure and i'm sure it has everything to do with um the lovers being with someone or not being with someone maybe somebody has has chosen someone over you or at least um at the very least has chosen just to be by themselves even um maybe have been kind of selfish in a situation you feel is what i'm getting from some of you guys was challenging you is a three of cups i think this is for you to get your happiness back okay because there has been a there's a lot of disappointment around you a lot that you're not happy with okay um and i'm thinking this is relating to someone else so with the three of cups showing up as your challenge is either for for you guys to actually you know get back together with someone um you know to grow with them or by yourself but in general this is all about growth and happiness and abundance you know um emotional fulfillment with the three of cups being here okay so how you're seeing yourself this situation is a ten of pentacles um and maybe there's something that you're focused on that does not have to do with your emotions maybe it's more to do with your um your finances your home your stability in your home even maybe you guys have been like financially strained since um maybe you're separated from someone up in here and your focus right now is to get your house in order is what i'm getting from you okay for the month of march it, the focus is on building your pinnacles up working hard trying to achieve um some sort of happiness in your home since you're you know your disappointment here is with love currently your focus is is on something else okay so the reason why this is happening is the queen of pentacles this is all about you guys um you know really just trying to build on something tangible here okay taking your focus off of um the love aspect maybe maybe trying to 
you know, throw yourself into work even. Throw yourself into building your home, building your finances, making sure your immediate family is okay, maybe your children, um, or even your parents, any any relatives that are not related to an intimate setting with you. I think your focus is more on other things other than love. Okay, because I think the whole love issue is like touchy for you currently. So you're really not trying to focus on that. So the best possible outcome here is that you will definitely get what you deserve. You are doing the right thing. Um, I think that you are making the right choices for you. Okay, just is all about balancing the skills of karma, just doing what you feel is right. And I feel that you guys are are doing just that. Um, but again, your challenge here is the Three of Cups. This is being happy. This is uh, uniting. This is growth. Um, so what I'm thinking is your focus mainly is on you know the more mundane aspects in life, not so much on love. Because here in the recent past, we have the lovers, which represents a choice. Okay, and it can be a choice between two people or it can be a choice between being in a relationship or not. So um, I'm, I'm thinking that you guys are, are more focused on not at this point, not being in a relationship. Okay, um, maybe somebody else made a choice to step outside of the relationship had you in a three-party relationship and you're just not with that you're not want to take that chance anymore um so you just kind of like you know f love right now i'm focused on this bag is what i'm getting from you so what's coming in for you guys is the four of wands happiness stability in a home okay this is what i'm getting from you um i think you're working really diligently trying to just make sure everything is everything at home you you're just wanting to be good i feel um, by yourself and, and feeling good by yourself guess what you're doing you are actually manifesting you know relationships stable relationships into your life that is basically the law of attraction when you are not concentrating so heavily on a relationship that's when they usually come you know so I feel you guys there's somebody around you maybe um, Cancer, Aquarius, Gemini, Aries, um, Libra, Virgo energy is here as well that I feel um, wants a stable relationship with you guys. They feel like they feel at home with you. They feel like they can be happy with you. But right now, your focus is not on a relationship is what I'm getting from you. So your outside influence here is a six of swords, okay? I'm feeling this is more you guys wanting to, you know, you have all of these feelings, but I think you're kind of pushing them down. Um, and, and you're really just trying to just take the knowledge that you have learned from this experience in this three of swords energy, and you just want to move on. You just want to move on. You want to leave all that heartache behind. Anything associated with any intimate partner, you are just wanting to just let that shit go. Um, it's like, you know what? It was done. It's a done deal. I I'm on to something else is what I'm getting from you. So your hope is to gain some balance and harmony in your life. Okay? Some of you, I feel like th there's like two sets of you guys. Um, one set of you, I feel you're just wanting to be happy by yourself. You just want, you know, growth and abundance um, within yourself, within your home, with your people, your familial people. Okay. And then others of you, I'm thinking that you guys are wanting to do what's right in a relationship. Um, you're still very disappointed in whatever happened between you and maybe this Gemini Aquarius individual, maybe Cancer. Um, but I think for the most part, um, that set of you that, you know, is looking to reunite, that is what you are going towards. That is, that is what you want here with this 10 of Pentacles. Also, you want a stable relationship. You want to reunite with someone. And I definitely see somebody coming in for you, for those of you who are looking for a relationship. Okay. Definitely. But for the most part, you, you want to be happy. 
You want to be able to get along with the person that, that you are in a relationship with. You want to be able to get along with people in general and just be happy, okay? So your fear here is the Four of Cups. Maybe this is somebody taking your love for granted, taking you for granted, offering your love to someone and they just go and spit on it, you know, spit in your face. It's like you're not, you're not wanting to deal with that anymore because maybe that is indeed what happened with, you know, this situation over here. Somebody thought they wanted to be single, separated from you, and, you know, you're just not wanting to involve yourself in those types of situations anymore, I feel, okay? So the overall outcome here is a Ten of Swords. Um, and this is basically laying down the burden, okay? And I know the Ten of Wands is laying down the burden, but the Ten of Swords is basically saying, you know what? I'm not thinking about this shit anymore. I thought about it enough. Um, you know, here with the Six of Swords, like I said, you 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 have all of these feelings, but it's like at this point, you're really not trying to focus on what actually hurts you. What you're trying to focus on is where you want to go. And that is what you're doing here with the Ten of Swords. You are cutting out a lot of shit and, and, and saying, you know what, that's enough. That's over with. That's done. I'm not allowing certain things to happen to me anymore if I can help it. Okay? Again, Gemini and Aquarius energy here. So, just to recap the signs, we have Cancer, Sagittarius. Of course, this is you. Um, maybe another Sagittarius you guys are dealing with. But I think for the most part, that's you know how you're feeling. Um, we also have Virgo, uh, Aries, Libra here. And uh, maybe uh, Taurus, Capricorn as well. All right, guys. So that's what I have for you for March 2019. And I will speak with you soon.